Hi there, and welcome to The Understudy. My name is Philippa, and this is the channel where we teach you everything we can about musical theatre. Today, we are going through work day four of Freeing the Natural Voice by Kristen Linklater. And if you haven't already, go check out the first three work days and do them as a quick warm up. If you are warmed up and ready, here we go. Freeing the vibrations, lips. Step one. Stand fully aware of your skeletal support and loose muscles. Sigh the vibrations of sound up from the pelvic floor and shake your belly with your hands. Ah. Recreate the sigh impulse and, on the next long sighing ha, ah, slide your hands from your belly up to your chest as though you are drawing the vibrations into your chest. Bring your hands back down to your belly. Recreate the sigh impulse and on the next long sighing ha, huh, slide your hands from your belly to your chest and then onto your face. As your hands touch your face, close your lips on the side. Repeat. When the next long sigh of sound arrives on your lips and hands, let it continue as you open your lips and your hands move forward off your face. Your hands seem to draw the vibrations off your face and out into the air in front of you. You will notice that when your lips close on the vibrations, the sound that occurs is hmm. These mm vibrations strengthen the voice by contributing extra sound. The lips resound the initial sound, touch of sound, vibrations. The long sigh is now a hum. Repeat several times using your hands as a guide to your awareness of the vibrations. Then repeat the exercise without your hands. Your awareness of the buzz of vibrations and their movement outward will substitute for your hands. A fountain of vibrations flow vertically upward and onto your lips and then escapes the horizontally into the air. Using your hands again, Establish a flow of sound vibrations that releases up from the pelvic floor and that you can shake from your belly with your hands. Um, now think of the word I. Personalize it. Let that thought be an impulse that goes down to your source of breath and sound and then releases on a long drawn out expression of who you are. Use your hands to draw the I from your belly, through your chest, and out through your open mouth. I. I. Feed in the deep, sighing I thought impulse, but this time, as your hands touch your chest, bring in the word am. I. I. It is as though the sense of who you are starts deep in the pelvic floor and then spreads into the region of your heart and lungs with a physical awareness of your state and being in the vibrations. Repeat. Then, as your hands feel the vibrations on your face and lips and move forward into the air, the word me releases out of your body. One long sigh of relief. Place your hands on your belly on I, your chest on M, and on your face, and then out into the air on me. This will make a very clear personal connection between you and your voice. Continue to move your hands over your body as you develop the previous experience into a more formal exercise that can be repeated.
If possible, you should use a piano to confirm pitches. Establish your connection with the central starting point of sound on the double bubble release ha ha. Then, finding a pitch that is close to the sound that just happened, let the sound now happen on pitch. Now, let the sound continue as though on a long sigh, still on pitch, but this time, close your lips on the sound. Register the feeling of vibrations on your lips. As you hum, massage your face with your hands. Recreate the sigh impulse, but this time open your lips while continuing the sigh sound. Relax inside, then let breath replace. Repeat the sigh impulse and the thought. As your lips close, place a finger on them to feel the vibrations. And then, as your lips open and the sound escapes, move your finger forward to lead the vibrations out. Now, let the pitch drop just a semitone. Sigh out on ha on pitch. Picturing the vibrations streaming up from the middle of your body and through your mouth. Close your lips gently on the vibrations. Feel the vibrations on your lips as though they were gathering reinfor reinforcements there. Allow your lips to open and the sound will stream out, reinforced by the extra vibrations found on the sounding board of your lips. Relax inside. Let the breath drop back in. Repeat the process on several more pitches going down in semitones to a comfortably low note, then up again to the easy mid-register pitch you started on. Step 2. Blow air out through your lips so that they flutter. This is sometimes called a lip trill. Let this happen very loosely, as though your lips started in your cheeks and feel the vibrations spread as far as possible over your face. It will probably tickle. Look in a mirror to make sure the corners of your lips are loose, not tucked in. Step 3. Blow out through the lips on vibrations, this time on pitch. On the same breath, bring the lips together in a hum, then open the lips and let the vibrations escape. Here are now the physical steps and physical awareness for this exercise. Loosen up extra vibrations on your lips by blowing through them. Gather those vibrations together on your lips where they touch each other. 
Let the vibrations escape as your lips open. Sustain the exercise with a long, drawn-out sigh of relief under it. Then relax inside and let the breath drop in to replace what has been used. Repeat on descending and ascending pitches. Repeat step one. Hum. 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 I am me. I am me. I am me. Observe any changes that you experience. You may find that there are more vibrations naturally happening in the very front of the mouth. Move your lips around on the humming, as though you are savoring the taste of the vibrations before letting them escape. Become a consigneur of vibrations. Taste them. Spread them around in your face. Luxury in them. Indulge them. Really bring your mind into your lips as they touch. Imagine your two lips as two slices of bread making your favorite sandwich. Imagine the vibrations as your favorite sandwich filling. Peanut butter and jelly, mozzarella, honey, tuna. Focus on the taste of the fillings of your sandwich as you hum. Freeing the vibrations, head. Step 5. Stand easily with your feet just apart, your spine long, and your stomach muscles relaxed. Let the whole neck drop forward, giving in to gravity. Feel the weight of your head pulling on the bull vertebrae. Picture the seven vertebrae on the, of the neck and roll them to the right, until they hang over your right shoulder with the head heavy and your right ear directly over your shoulder. Register the stretch on the muscles and tendons in the left side of your neck as your head drops heavily to the right and your left shoulder drops toward the floor. Let the neck fall forward with the head dropping heavily to gravity and then let the neck and head roll over to your left shoulder. Register the stretch in the right side of your neck, right shoulder dropped head dropped in the opposite direction, side neck muscles stretching between the two. Now, maintaining the picture of the right side of your neck as a very long, float the neck up until it is in alignment with the rest of your spine with your head balanced on top. Drop the neck heavily forward and roll it to the right shoulder. Feel the stretch and then Maintaining the picture of the left side of your neck as very long, float the neck up until it is in alignment with the rest of your spine with your head balanced on top.
picture the very long sides of your neck. Keep your upper spine long. Don't collapse. Slowly now, keeping the sides of your neck long, lengthen your neck backward. Do not let the neck collapse. Let your jaw relax and your mouth drop open. Picture your throat stretched, making the front of your neck very long. Now roll your neck up over one shoulder. Let it drop forward while noticing the length of the back of the neck and then continue rolling on to the other shoulder. Maintaining a picture of the sides, front and back of your neck lengthening and shortening as they move from shoulder to shoulder and forward and then back, roll your very long neck around in a big circle, first one direction, then the other. You roll your neck and your head goes with it. Roll your neck loosely from right to left, then from left to right, on to your shoulders. Feel the stretch in the opposite muscles and tendons when it is on the shoulder. When the neck is back, let your mouth and the throat drop open. When it is up on the shoulder, feel the stretch, and when it is forward, feel how heavy it is. Let the neck be active and the head passive. Roll the neck and head slowly, heavily, in a big, loose circle from right to left several times. Roll from left to right several times. Then roll a little faster, allowing gravity and momentum to take over. Step six, leave the head dropped forward for a moment. Focus your mind firmly on the back of your neck and bring it back and up through the neck vertebrae until the neck is in alignment with the rest of the spine and the head is balanced easily on, top, on the top vertebrae. Tune into the breathing center and sigh a hum on a sustained pitch from there onto your lips. As soon as you feel the vibrations on your lips, drop your neck and head forward and roll them around in a loose circle as explored in step five. Remind your throat to drop open behind your closed lips as your neck rolls round. When you get to the end of the sigh and then easy neck roll, relax in the middle and then let the breath drop back in. Again, sigh a hum onto your lips and picture it reverberating through your whole head. Drop your neck and head forward and roll around the other way. Relax for the new breath. Hum again and roll in the other direction. Don't go too long on each breath. Let your breath have its own life without pushing till you are empty. Find a new pitch for each new head roll. Going up three or four notes, then down three or four notes.
Bring your neck up into alignment with the rest of your spine. Sigh on a hum on pitch. Your head and feel with your fingers all the different places that are vibrating with sound. Touch your lips, cheeks, nose, forehead, top of the skull, back of your neck, throat and chest. Take enough time to explore fully both with your fingertips and your awareness how the vibrations feel in different places. You will notice that the vibrations are much stronger in some places than in others, but don't be prejud prejudiced in the favor of the strong ones. Get to know the quality of the lighter, weaker vibrations as well as the rich, strong ones. Again, roll your head and neck on a hum. Sigh the hum out. Remind your throat to stay open. Let awareness replace the touch of your fingers. And with awareness, register the vibrations in your lips, your face, your skull, your throat, and your chest. Roll your head in the other direction, humming on a new pitch. Notice the emphasis of vibrations shifting according to whether your head is dropped forward or backward. Picture the vibrations like a ball, bearings inside a big ball, shifting and rolling as the ball rolls. Repeat several times in alternating directions. of your head balanced lightly on top of your neck. Repeat the ha hummas. Ha -humma. Feel and picture the vibrations flowing out from all sides of your head. Ha -humma. Sigh with relief through the touch of sound. Ha ha. Ha ha. Wallow in vibration on mm. Let the vibrations escape into the air on ha. Let the breath replace and then sigh out that feels good with the same physical awareness that you had on that feels good or feels sigh out good. I wish I knew what I was doing or I'm hungry and I want my dinner. I wish I or knew anything what I was else doing. that expresses the feeling you have at this moment. Relax, shake yourself, move about, jump up and down, and stop concentrating. Freeing the vibrations. Body. Step nine. Stand easily with your spine long and your head floating up off the topmost vertebrae. Relax your stomach muscles so that the natural rhythm of breathing takes over. Choose an easy mid-register pitch and sigh with a big easy hum on your lips. As you hum, let your head and neck drop heavily forward and immediately get into the weight of your head and drop down through the spine. Hang from your tailbone with your head down. Let your breath replace. Breathe naturally as you hang upside down. Make sure your neck is relaxed and your knees are bent so that you are comfortably balanced. Sigh a new hum as you hang upside down and notice how the vibrations behave in this position. Hum.
come again as you hang there and gently shake your body loose. Where do the vibrations predominate? Let the breath replace. Sigh a new hum on another note and build up your spine to a standing position as you hum. Where do the vibrations predominate when you are upside down? Where do they arrive when you are upright again? Repeat the process on different pitches within a low register. Next, drop down the spine on a hum. Let the breath easy come in. Sigh out on a new hum. Uncurl your spine quickly, and when you reach the top, let your mouth drop open so that the sound can escape. Imagine that in the course of dropping down your spine, you are freeing vibrations from your whole torso. Imagine that when you reach the upright position again, all those free, loose vibrations are thriving inside your body but are trapped by your lips and longing to be free of you. When you open your lips, you allow all the vibrations that were imprisoned inside you to escape into the air. Play with the whole process again, dropping down your spine on the hum, relaxing for a new breath coming up on a hum and releasing the vibrations through open lips when you are upright. Personalize the vibrations so that you may be pleasurably involved with them. Let them warm you up or cool you down. Let them tickle you in surprising parts of your body. Give them colors. Let them pick up your moods thus producing a feeling that can underlie the exercise. From this simple game of connection between imagination and vibration, you can practice freeing your feelings through your voice. Floor work, connecting voice with the inner abdominal breathing muscles. Preparation, lie on the floor. Use the picture of the marionettist in the sky to achieve the most economical execution of the diagonal stretch. First, picture the bones of your body lying on the ground free of muscular constriction. Picture the string the grand marionettist in the sky has attached to your right knee joint. Let him pull on the right knee string so that your right knee moves up toward the sky, dragging your heel along the floor until your foot is flat on the floor. Now picture the string the grand marionettist in the sky has attached to your left knee joint. Let him pull on his string so that your left knee joint knee moves up toward the sky, dragging your heel along the floor until your foot is flat. Now the grand marionettist pulls on the right knee string so that your knee and thigh bone swing up and float over your belly. Picture the smooth round top of the thigh bone as it rocks in the cradle of your hip socket. Now the grand marionettist pulls on the left knee string so that your left knee and thigh bone swing up and float over your belly. Picture the smooth round tops of both thigh bones as they balance in the cradles of your hip sockets. Then the marionettist swings both knees over to the right and lets the string go so that your knee falls to the floor left knee on top of the right knee, comfortably close to your chest. At this point, let your head drop to the left. Let the thought of a long sigh of vibration, relief, spark sound in the right hip socket and flow out through the long, broad river channel from hip socket to shoulder socket. As vibrations reach the mouth, Close the lips and feel the vibrations on the lips and in the head, and then open the lips and let the vibrations escape. 
Let the sigh impulse you reconnect down to the hip socket. Repeat this several times on different pitches. Let the marionettist bring you over to the other diagonal stretch. We create the experience of sound start darting in the hip sockets and sighing through on to the lips and out. Float the knees to the middle, over the belly, feet off the floor, and drop the feet to the floor. Float the right knee up over the belly. Clasp your hands over your, the front of the knee, fingers laced. Picture clearly the place where the top of your thigh bone goes into your hip socket. Feed a sigh of relief, without sound, down into the hip socket. And as it releases, shake your knee with your hands so that the top of your thigh bone shakes and the breath from the hip socket out through your mouth. Drop the right foot to the floor. Float the left knee up over the belly, hands clasped over the front of the knee. Repeat the sighing, vibrating breath experience. Drop the left foot to the floor. Again, float the right knee up over the belly and drop the clasped hands over the knee. Feed in the sigh to the hip socket and find vibrations of sound. With your hands, shake and vibrate the sound from the hip socket all the way out through the long inner channels of the torso onto the lips and out. This exercise shakes the hum from your hip socket to your lips and then out into the space beyond your lips. Drop the right foot to the floor and repeat with the left knee, thigh bone and hip socket. Feed in the sigh to the hip socket and find the vibrations of sound. With your hands, shake, vibrate the sound from the hip socket all the way out through the long inner channels of the torso, onto the lips and out. Repeat several times on each side, going down on pitch, then up, then down again as you change legs.
Drop both feet to the floor. Then focus into a picture of your whole bony pelvic structure. With your feet flat on the floor, knees up, float your pelvis two inches up off the floor. Picture your pelvis as if it were an old-fashioned garden swing, hanging from the supporting struts of your thigh bones. Gently bounce the pelvic swing up and down. Lay the pelvic swing back down on the ground. Let the sigh impulse go all the way down into the pelvic floor where it turns into the vibrations of sound. Ah. Ah. Close your lips on a hum that floats the pelvic garden swing up two inches off the floor and then gently bounce the pelvis swing up and down. Bouncing the vibrations as pleasurably as one mind might bounce small children on the swing. Mm. Then, as you return the pelvic swing to the ground, a new breath impulse enters with a new pitch. And the sound is again bounced gently from the pelvic swing onto the lips and out. Repeat several times with new pitches every time. Relax back onto the floor, retaining a clear picture of sound impulse penetrating down to the pelvic floor and release a sighing ha hum. Ha ha. Feel the resultant vibrationary flow of voice ha -ha. arriving clearly on the lips and moving from there out into the air. Slowly roll over onto your hands and knees. And from there, find your way back to standing, with as economical a use of muscular effort as possible, your head coming up last. Keeping your sense of self and impulse source as deep in the body as possible, repeat the touch of sound and the amplification of vibrations standing. Ha-hum. Ha-hum. Shake the vibrations out through your whole body, bouncing your knees and then your shoulders. Notice what's fresh, new, or different experiences of sound have occurred. Speak them. Speak a few lines of text. Write down in your journal the new physical experiences of your voice. Draw a new picture of your voice. Practice. A combination of all of the exercises learned on days 1 through 4 for a week. You make, make use of the intermission warm-up showed in the next video.